Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about this mechanism right here. Kind of a lengthy, wordy uh, mechanism called the renin angiotensin aldosterone mechanism. Okay, where does this mechanism occur? This is going to be in the kidney, okay? And we're just going to do a quick rundown on what this mechanism does, uh, what the whole purpose of this mechanism is, um, you know, the, the big players here in the mechanism. And we're just going to do a quick little flow chart to show it. Uh, this mechanism, as complex as it, as it is, and of course we're just going to talk about the basics, is really a response in the body. We could refer to it as a, as a visceral reflex, if you want to call it that, because it's something, of course, that happens uh, automatically in the body in order to maintain balance or homeostasis. We could also call it a negative feedback mechanism, because, again, we're having an imbalance in the body that... that is then being corrected by the body. So we could call this mechanism uh, different things, but basically what's happening is we're getting a drop in blood pressure and that is triggering this mechanism. So this mechanism again, triggered by a drop in blood pressure. So just what you see here, uh, we get the drop in blood pressure and anytime we think about this renin uh, angiotensin aldosterone mechanism, we want to think about liver, kidney, lungs, okay? Liver, kidney, lungs. Uh, so I'm just going to write right here, liver, kidney, lungs, so we know uh, the organs of importance here, okay? So what does the liver make? The liver makes something called angiotensin synogen okay and what's going to happen is with this drop in blood pressure okay angiotensinogen from the liver will be converted to angiotensin 1 okay in the kidney now an enzyme is going to do that conversion our first uh, enzyme that you notice right here is renin Okay, so renin is not a hormone, okay? It is an enzyme produced in the kidney. It's in uh, a part of the kidney uh, that's involved in autoregulation called the JG apparatus. It's actually produced by the JG cells of the JG apparatus. It's the juxtaglomerular apparatus, okay? So that's the specialized cells produce renin, okay? That allows this conversion to take place. So then we get angiotensin 1, which then will be converted again, okay, now we're down in the lung, into angiotensin 2, which we refer to as uh, a functional hormone. These would not be functional. Angiotensin 2 would be considered a functional hormone. Again, conversion occurring in the lungs by what now? Angiotensin converting enzyme. That's what ACE is going to stand for. I'm not going to write the whole thing out. Angiotensin converting enzyme. Now, it's commonly called ACE. Why does it call it ACE? If you ever heard of that class of drugs called ACE inhibitors, they're blood pressure lowering drugs. Okay, what do they do? They block this enzyme, which allows, or basically doesn't allow, this conversion to angiotensin 2 to take place. So again, what, what do those drugs do then? They lower a person's blood pressure. Because you can see where we're going with this thing, right? Angiotensin 2 is going to then stimulate the release. It's not another conversion now. It's stimulating the release of aldosterone, which happens to be, in case you want to know where aldosterone is located, it's located in the adrenal cortex, okay, in the adrenal glands. It's stimulating the release of aldosterone, okay? And what's happening, of course, is aldosterone, of course, is going to trigger a rise in blood pressure. Some other things happen, too. Uh, there's a triggering of thirst, uh, and, 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 and you taking in water helps uh, increase blood pressure as well. Obviously, that would be uh, secondary, but it does, it does happen. It, it uh, triggers thirst in the hypothalamus. But... The big thing that aldosterone is going to do then is raise blood pressure. So this is a, 
elaborate mechanism that takes place anytime you have a drop in blood pressure. Okay, it does not happen the other way around, only drop in blood pressure. And that's why you can notice we can call this either a visceral reflex or a negative feedback mechanism. But this is our renin angiotensin, uh, again, aldosterone mechanism. So hope it helps and uh, watch for more videos. Good luck and good study.